Good afternoon from London and welcome to Money Tips. It's a lovely day here in the UK. Spring is in the air. Uh, I believe the spring equinox starts tomorrow, so we'll be officially out of winter. So everyone is feeling good. You can feel the, the atmosphere when you go out and uh, you know see, see people having a good time, etc. So welcome to Money Tips. And today is that I want to talk about a, a sort of roundup of the news but also about the, the looming end of the tax year, which is coming up on the 5th of April. So that means you don't have very long to make any of those tax plans. This doesn't only apply to people with a lot of money. Uh, you can use things like ISAs, uh, individual savings accounts, which are tax-free, lifetime ISAs, uh, pension contributions, marriage allowance, which is not always claimed, and tax relief on working from home if you've been stuck at home in during the coronavirus so all these things are there for you and you know you might need to talk to an accountant or or an IFA independent financial advisor I, I used to be an independent financial advisor so we used to talk about these things at this time of year because it could save you thousands of pounds and if you don't use up your ISA allowance you, you're going to lose it forever now the reason this is important this year is because in in the last budget the chancellor announced plans that Tax allowances, this is the amount of money you can earn before you pay tax, which in the UK is around £12,500, are being frozen. They normally go up with inflation. So every year you might earn a bit more, but the allowance goes up so you don't end up paying any more tax. But these have been frozen now. So it means that in the future, everyone is going to pay a bit more tax. Now It's, it's going to be phased in, but uh, one way or another, th this is a tax hike. Although they haven't increased the tax rate, they say they haven't increased taxes, but they have in a way because they've just uh, frozen the allowances that on which you start paying tax. So in other words, if you're earning twelve thousand five hundred a year, you don't pay any tax. Uh, but you know, if you earn any more than that, you start paying tax on that portion of your income. Okay, so that that's going to start going up, and 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 it also means that lower paid will start paying tax. More lower pe paid people will start paying tax. And middle earners will start creeping into higher rates of tax at 40 percent. So this is this is known as a fiscal drag. It's not a drag act. Fiscal drag means gradually people are, are dragged into into tax. And, you know, five million people will end up paying higher rates of tax, which is a lot of people, uh, you know, because higher rates of tax is supposed to be for the wealthy. But it's, it's not now. It's for middle earners. OK, so this will affect your savings uh, interest. Because when you earn save, when you earn interest on an account and dividends, they are normally taxed at source on, on the basic rate. But if you earn higher rates of tax, you have to go back on your tax return and and pay that extra bit of tax. So more people are going to have to start paying tax on their interest, and th this this means that it, there's even more reason to put that money into a tax-free environment, like an ISA, a pension. Or, or other forms, there are other things, enterprise allowance schemes, but they're more complicated and more risky. But you can put your money into an ISA, which can be made up of just interest bearing account or in stocks and shares. You should certainly have your stocks and shares if you own shares in an ISA or in a pension like a SIP uh, to avoid having to, to pay tax and even declare tax and start messing around with, with tax returns. So that, that's something you need to probably talk to your in the, in the your IFA or your accountant about, uh, but certainly use up those uh, things because then you're protecting your your money from the tax man in in the future, and you know once you you don't if you don't use that allowance into your ISA you lose it forever you can't kind of backdate it so it is important now you've only got a couple of weeks this is for people in the UK but it might apply to people in other countries who've got similar tax regimes there's always types of schemes like this, like pensions, where you can utilise these things to, to save tax. Even if you're only putting a few thousand pounds in, it will still, that money is then ring-fenced against tax for the future. And some people have got over a million pounds just in their ISAs because they put their maximum amount in every year and it's grown and grown. So that's worth looking at. And, and even it's tax-free, even when you take the money out, it's tax-free. Unlike a pension, when you take the money out, you start paying tax on it at your normal rate. ISAs are tax-free you know, forever. Okay, now tax rates on limited companies or corporations will also increase over the next couple of years, which means that property investors, in, I mean, a lot of our listeners are property investors, they will end up 
paying more tax because of the, the fact that their properties are now in limited companies. And ironically, many of these investors transferred their properties into limited companies to avoid paying higher rates of tax as a, as a single sole trader owner. Uh, so the tax man is going to get you one way or the other. And it's very expensive to start moving your money in and out of uh, entities like limited companies because it involves uh, you know, a, a tax transaction. The other thing you can do is look at your capital allowances. Uh, this is where you, you, you a, a capital gains tax allowance, as I mean, uh, you, you get an amount that you, uh, an allowance each year before you start paying capital gains. Capital gains tax is where you sell a property or a share or an asset and you've made a gain and then you would pay tax on that gain. Uh, now you get an allowance again, like, like a, an income allowance of around £12,000 before you make any gain. So if you're planning to sell a, a property or, or a lump of shares, you know, you can split that by, by selling some in this tax year and then some after the, the end of, uh, on the 6th of April in the next tax year. So you use up your allowances in those two, two years. Again, talk to your accountant about that. Isn't, it might not always be possible to sell at, at this time, but it's worth planning ahead so that you, you can use up your allowances and, and save a bit of tax. Because who likes paying more tax? Nobody. And it's, it's all legal. We're not talking about uh, hiding money and avoiding tax illegally. This is all legal stuff and you're there to use it. In fact, with capital allowances, many people don't even claim capital allowances on uh, on things that they could on, on commercial properties. So that's, that's something to look at. Now, in other news, President Biden has started splashing the cash with a, a mind-boggling $1.9 trillion dollars. In, in fiscal or, or financial stimulus for the, for the US economy. That's nearly two trillion, not billion, trillion. You know, a, a million is a lot of money. A uh, hundred million is a lot of money. A billion is like a thousand million pounds and a trillion is a thousand billion. It, it's just mind boggling amounts of money. And never before have countries like the US and, and the UK been in so much debt. And where does all this money come from? Well, basically thin air. They just make it up. And they print it. They just create it on on paper. You know, the Federal Reserve and the, the Bank of England and or they borrow it and issue bonds and people buy their bonds and uh, they, they're going to pay interest to them over the next 20 or 30 years. But it's just all made up funny money, really. And it will eventually devalue the, 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 the buying power of the dollar and the pound and, and will eventually cause inflation, which I think will push up interest rates further down the line. That's what normally happens. Uh, now, as I said, someone will eventually have to pay all this back, but politicians in Western countries only think as far ahead as the next election or the one after that. So Biden's only just been elected. So he thinks, well, if I can get things right in the next four years, uh, cause a bit of pain now, maybe, or do things right, I'll get, a, I'll get re-elected. But they don't think much further than that. Um, whereas politicians in China think and plan decades ahead. They're, they're, they're playing the long game and they're increasing their influence all over the world. They're taking over bits of sea and bits of land here and there, just using their muscle more and more and building up their military might. And look at their economy. It grew by you know, around 8% last year, whilst the UK suffered the worst recession in 300 years and borrowed you know, 300 billion or, or, or thereabouts, three, 300 billion in, in, in future borrowings. You know, children and grandchildren will have to eventually sort of pay off. So uh, now with, with getting on to other things, with economies gradually opening up um, and businesses are, are looking forward to a brighter summer, but it looks like we, we might need um, a vaccine just to go down to buy anything in the shop or go to a, a theatre or a restaurant. Certainly uh, airlines now are, are, are probably going to start insisting that people have a vaccine before they can travel. Uh, so it's, it's becoming a very much a controlled world where you won't be able to move without the vaccine, which is, is largely untested, isn't it? it? It's only been brought out last year. We don't know the long term effects. The AstraZeneca va vaccine uh, caused a few problems and some European countries stopped using it. I understand now they've started using it again uh, uh, as announced today. So businesses are still looking forward to a, a brighter summer. Hopefully the bars and restaurants and Theatres will be open again, but they might, might be on limited capacity to allow maybe only a certain amount of people in, in the, the building. Uh, so, you know, they, they have really, really suffered. But interest rates are, are low, as I was saying earlier. And people who've remained in work this year 
actually have more money in the bank. They may manage to save more money. Uh, I think a, a figure was mentioned, an average of £400 a month or nearly 5000 over the year. Um, and, you know, they, they've actually saved because of they're not paying out on travel costs because they're working from home and, and various things that they've managed to save on. Whereas lower paid workers and self-employed workers in the so-called gig economy, you know, like Uber drivers and delivery people, well, not, maybe not delivery people, but people who work on a, on a freelance basis have, have not done so well. And some have suffered badly due to the lockdown. Yes, there's been some government help, but not all of them got that help because they fell through the net somehow, which we've been through before. But despite the optimism, unemployment rates have rocketed and, and thousands of businesses have gone forever. I mean, unemployment in, in the UK went up from uh, just over a million to 1.7 million. You know, it's a 75 percent, you know, 70, 75 percent increase in, in a year. And, and some of those jobs might not come back because companies have got used to, to using more technology and people working from home. You know, if offices are not open in, this, in the city centres, then that affects all the businesses around them. So it, it's, I think it's going to take a long time to, to recover from this worldwide unprecedented shutdown of, of the economies all over the world. Now, unlike physical type businesses like, like shops and restaurants, online businesses have been booming du even during this pandemic. You know, people like Jeff Bezos and Zuckerberg and the owners of, of, of Google and uh, Apple have, have, have added billions of pounds or dollars to their wealth. You know, some have become multi, multi billionaires. We, I mean, they're already billionaires already, but some of them are like getting, getting towards the trillion dollar mark now. So, so they've been doing really well and uh, you know, good luck to them. Uh, but, but this is because of, of internet shopping. Right now, there's never been a better time to start a business selling products and services online, especially if you're one of those people that need extra money. Maybe your job's not safe. Maybe you you know, haven't even got a job. Why not start an online business to help you bring in a bit of extra money? It might only be a few hundred a month. It might be thousands a month. It might eventually replace your income. So I'm going to put up on, on the post here how to make money uh, starting a business from home risk free capital, no capital required, how to do it. Because as I said, pubs and, and restaurants are closed. Um, you know, this, this is going to be a, a, a bad time. But, you know, uh, this is a reminder of how vulnerable these type of businesses are, because people put a lot of their money and their life savings into opening up a shop, for instance, or, or some other kind of physical business where they need capital and investments and have to sign leases and and, and then during these these sorts of periods or it could be anything it could be another recession you know th these types of businesses are especially vulnerable and because they can't keep paying the cost of running them they can go out of business very quickly and because you've signed a lease often in your own name that the landlords and, and debtors can come after you personally and even make you you bankrupt so you've got to be very careful as i said at the same time business owners doing business on the internet or who have adapted their business to online selling like a, a food place that you know has closed their restaurant but it's selling takeaways online they, they, they've done quite well and never in history has more goods been sold on the internet even before the pandemic the high street was already under pressure every year online shopping every Christmas they'd make the announcement online shopping is up 10 20 30 percent and more people start buying stuff online you just have to look around the streets there's vans everywhere white vans uh, with people delivering stuff sometimes you see them deliver two or three houses in the same road so you know everyone's sitting at home waiting for their stuff to arrive I still like to go out to shops and buy stuff when you can so you know as I said these high rents have, have, have driven people out of business also the you know this this competition from Amazon and Shopify have have driven even large retailers in the UK like Debenhams out of business and successful companies like John Lewis are, are, are closing down 70% of their stores uh, in, in the UK and, and they've never posted a loss before. So how does this help you get online? Well the internet has given everyone a unique opportunity to start a home-based business uh, and, and to compete with big companies which have previously dominated the markets because before to have a business you needed a premises and, you know, the, biz the big businesses would take the best premises in the high street, the best sites in the malls, you know, and, and that drove smaller businesses out of, out of, out of the way. Uh, there was massive advertising, undercutting, 
Um, and, and, you know, we saw big Tesco's opening up in towns and they would drive all the small retailers out of business one by one. You look in the high street now, there's no butcher, baker, candlestick maker. Everything's in Tesco's, isn't it? And, and they're quite ruthless about that. You know, they have these ads on TV, every little helps, and they're all nice people, but they're not. They, they literally ruthlessly drive people out of business. And now they've even opened up their own corner shops to, to make it, to add another nail in the coffin to the little guy sitting there 18 hours a day trying to make a living. Uh, and, and so, you know, it's been very difficult for, for people who the only way they could start a business would mean opening up a physical premises. Fortunately, this has changed. And, you know, you can benefit from th this online uh, uh, bonanza, if I think it is. And this has affected some of the big, big companies that used to have the, the upper hand because now they have to compete against thousands of small businesses uh, you know, doing stuff from home and selling goods direct to the public from them to them. And, and they do this through through sites like Amazon, Shopify, Groupon. Yeah. And, and there's five billion people on the Internet potentially. So whereas in, if you open up a shop, you might get a few hundred people passing by your shop. Now you've got five billion people potentially looking at your site. Now it's not as easy that you've got to get people to, to drive traffic to your site, but potentially it's there without the cost of opening up a shop. So you no, no longer need to rent a shop, pay high taxes, employ staff and, and all these sorts of things because you, you can you can do this. And I'm going to put up three simple steps on, on the post here. Uh, sell solutions to people's problems. Don't just sell a product that you think is right for the world. You know, you've invented something. You think this is the, this is the best thing. I've written this book. This is going to sell like crazy. You know, you can find ways of finding out what people are searching for again on the Internet. You can use uh, Google and WordStream uh, to see how many people are searching for things and, and for searching for solutions to problems. Not necessarily products, but solutions to their problems. For instance, keyword searches like diet uh, and um, you know how to lose weight, they get hundreds of thousands, if not millions of searches on the internet. And that's just one particular niche. It's an important niche because a lot of people are looking to lose weight, especially if you've been sitting around for the last year. So you can find these things out and I'll put the links up there on Google, WordStream, uh, Mondova and find out through your own little market research who is searching for what. In the past, the big companies could only were the, the only ones who could afford this type of research. Now you can get it for free and, and, and do this, you know, running your own on, online business. Now, you can get up and run in with your online business today. And I'm putting a little link with that. Uh, by, by setting up a Groove account, Groove Funnels account, which enables you to set up three free websites, absolutely free. You can get an account today. You don't even need to put in a credit card. So you, you, you're never going to be charged for that. It's lifetime access. Step two is get going and set up your online business. Don't wait you know, for years thinking about the best product. Just get it going. Open up the account, set up a website. You, you know, No one has to see it just yet. You can play around with it. You know, if, you, if you're really not tech savvy and you can't follow the, the simple instructions in Groove, Groove Funnel, then you can always get someone else to, to do that for you. But it's, it's really very easy because you have these uh, templates. So you just tick on these templates and they will give you all the photos, all the, all the images that you need in that template. In the past, we had to spend tens of thousands of pounds literally on building one website. It took months and the designer to come back and forward. Everything had to be done from scratch. It's like, it like building things from literally scratch. Now you've got this simple website through Groove Funnels, which can enable you to get up and running. You can actually set up a, a, a web page within about 10 minutes, literally by ticking a few boxes and then you can go back and edit it. So I'll put a link up there. Step three is start thinking about what you want to sell and how you're going to get started. But but basically get started. You know, don't don't hang around for years doing business plans and um, feasibility studies. Don't worry about scaling it up to become a big company. You know, you're not in front of the Dragon's Den or, or Shark Tank. You don't have to think about that. You just get get something started. That's where most businesses actually really start. They don't do a 50 page business plan. Um, think about what you want to sell. It could be in your niche. It could be something you're interested in, or it could be through your research. You found out this is what people want. A lot of people are worried about health, well-being. That, 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 that's one big niche. Money is another big niche. But there's, there's thousands of things, you know, from, from training dogs to keeping fit to, uh, you know, learning to play the piano or guitar. All these things are, are sold on online now. So, so look at that, you know, do, do, do have a look at that and, and just get started really. 
Um, and this is you know, essentially how some of the big big companies have made profits by selling, if you haven't got a product yourself, by selling other people's products. Uh, you can become a marketer for other people's products. You know, Booking.com, Airbnb, don't have any hotels. Amazon helps millions of people sell their products through their online shop. They've got a shop front there. Shopify have the same sort of thing. You can get online and, and you could look like a big company, uh, same as another company, even if you're a small company, and you can direct ship products through Amazon to people's doorstep. Uh, so, so it's a unique opportunity. This is how Amazon has grown, not by being uh, dominating the market with their own products. They have got their own products, of course, but in the, in the beginning it was selling other people's books. Uh, so you can get online selling other people's products, even if you haven't got a product yourself. And, and you can do that through Groove Funnels because they, they also have an affiliate scheme as well. So you can recommend their product to your friends and family, your, your colleagues, and earn commission from Groove Funnels uh, called an affiliate commission. And there are lots of things, lots of ways of doing this. This will really open up your eyes. And here's the best part: there's no capital investment needed, no remortgaging your house to buy to buy a premises, no signing leases that are like a, a noose around your neck, basically. And you know you can get started right away. You can get started today. What have you got to lose? So, P.S. Uh, one final thing is that Groove Funnels have, have only been launched about a year, and uh, they. Uh, I'm not going to, to, to give this free access for very long. It's lifetime access for free, but eventually they will, you know, for people who don't get in now, they will start charging for this access. And it's not just a funnel or web page builder. They can add, you know, within this, the system, you can add in things like shopping cart facilities with taking credit cards. You can add in things like a, a, an email system so you don't have to subscribe to, to MailChimp or Aweber. Uh, you can add in membership sites so you don't have to subscribe to Kajabi and, and these sorts of companies. So you can save yourself hundreds of pounds or dollars per month by being under one roof and you've got lifetime access it, to it right now. So have a look at the link, click on the link and get, get your free account today. So thanks for listening and I hope you all have a, a great day or weekend. And, and thanks to everybody who listens on, on Facebook. Hi to everyone there. Hi, hi to Cecile there and, and everyone tuning in. Uh, great to see. Please leave a comment or share the post. Always appreciate that. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see you again. But but seriously, you know, if you, if you want to get online, do it through Groove Funnels. It's, I, I'm using it now and I'm not a tech genius or anything. But, but Groove Funnels is, I think, this type of system is the way forward. Because, you know, there are companies that will build websites for you. They either charge you a lot of money or they charge you a monthly fee forever. And you think over over years, you know, a 20, 30 pound a month or dollar fee could, could add up to thousands of pounds over 10 years. So this is the way of doing it for free. And it's always going to be free. So I think it's a golden opportunity and it won't last for long. So, so do do get in on that. And as I said, have a great weekend. Stay safe and I'll, I'll speak to you again soon. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.